Brown Uncle News fans, Susan Cigar here at Box IQ down in Miami with Coach David Pena, who's getting Yuli Diaz ready for his next fight. Coach, how are you today? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm great. So let's talk a little bit about this new gym and, and how things are working out for Yuli preparing for his fight. Oh, man, what can I say about Box IQ? They've welcomed me with open arms. You know, Eric, Eli, um, Alexis, they're all great. It's, it's, it's a great environment. It's, it's, the vibe is really, really well. Everybody loves it. The kids love it. And as far as Yuli, even Yuli loves it. You know, <laughs> we're here, we're working, and, you know, last fight before he rides into the sunset. And, you know, let's just give the fans what they want. Do you feel like there's any extra pressure on him because it is his last fight? I don't think so, to be honest with you. He's been doing this for so long already. Like, I, I almost feel like this is a relief, to be honest. Like, you know what? Let's just, let's just finish this. Let's finish on a high note. And let's, let, like I said, let's go enjoy the family. And it's a new season after that yeah. for him. Yuli is now fighting Shrek. What are you doing to prepare for him specifically? Nothing. To be honest with you, there's nothing different. Just get him ready um, mentally. You know, since it is his last fight, just motivate him. Just keep him, keep his mind that it's your last fight. Let's just finish on a high note. Let's finish great. I'm not going to give you guys the secrets what we're going to do with this guy. So it's not going to happen. But, you know, just keep him motivated because it's, it's, it is his last fight. It's hard to keep a guy knowing that he's going to retire to keep him motivated. Do you really think he's going to retire? You know, he's a fighter. Yeah. You know, he's a fighter. And I think that if the right fight comes along, he'll take it, you know, he'll take it. Uh, he's gone through a lot in his life, you know, with his son's situation and stuff like that. So I feel like he wants to spend more time with his kid, with his, with his you know, with his girlfriend. And, but I believe that itch is still gonna be there. And the last fight, they offered him something, I'm sure he's gonna take it. We hope so, we really hope so. Uh, specifically with this last fight coming up, his opponent is a little bit taller, but Yuli has a three inch reach on him. Talk to me a little bit about how that would factor into the game for that night. I don't think it's gonna be any much of a difference. Yuli knows what he needs to do. Yuli knows how to fight. Yuli just needs to stick to the game plan this time around, not like, like last time, you know, stick to the game plan. And Yuli's gonna be all right. You know, Yuli's, Yuli's, Yuli's got a lot of heart. He's, got a, he's, he's a brawler and you know, it's walking the park. So you just mentioned that Yuli is a brawler. Talk to me a little bit about the difference between a brawler and a technical fighter. A technical fighter is more patient. You know what I mean? He, he, picks, he picks when and how he's going to fight his opponent. He waits for his opponent to make mistakes so he can capitalize. A brawler, he's just going to come forward. He's a bull. He's just coming forward to try to get your head off him. That's the end of that. There's no question. There's like, I'm going in and I'm going to kick your ass and let's do it. So today when you were working with Yuli, we heard you talking to him a little bit about saying this was his last fight. Tell us how you're using this opportunity to motivate him by speaking to him during the training. I, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty much getting into his head to, to, to get him to, to understand this is your last fight. We want to finish on a high note for his career. Again, we talked about we don't think he's going to stop fighting, but we'll see. But yeah, it, it's, you know, Yuli's got opportunity to do other things. Yeah. He does. You know, but I want him to finish on a high note, very positive, so that he can move into this next phase of his life. Is it, like, like the Bible says, a new season yeah. in his life. And I think Yuli's going to be all right. Yuli's going to be good. He's got a great partner. He's got a great son. You know, he's got a lot of people that love him, and and he's going to be fine. Yuli's going to be fine. You know, I was speaking to Yuli about this as well. It's so important, I think, for the new fight fan to understand the fact that the fighter who is making his final exit, so to speak, does go out on a high note because they may have just tuned in now and they may not know Yuli has the fastest KO in combat sports history. They may not know he's been fighting forever. All the fight fan sees is he lost and their memory's short. So I dearly hope he does absolutely totally win. And I know with you by his side, he's gonna. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. August 10th, BYB at the Pines. Don't miss it. All right, so for Bare Knuckle News, I'm Susan Zagori and this is. Coach David. And remember, and I mean to remember Bare Knuckle fans, no one beats us to the punch. No one. Show me where you live at. St. Louis City, where I live at.